Without further ado, let's bring him in. We've got a few words to get through tonight. I'm going to start, as I said, Kel Richards. With a bit of a Matildas focus, one of our viewers wants to know where the term for the Matildas come from. I assume waltzing Matilda, but there's more to it, isn't there? There is, and you're exactly right. What our international sporting teams try to do is to come up with a name which has a, a really Australian flavour. So Socceroos, Wallabies, and from Walsing Matilda, as you said, uh, we get the Matildas. But Walsing Matilda itself is interesting because it originally meant, late 1800s, it meant carrying a swag in the Australian bush. The waltzing part is not a mystery. It was just making fun of the hard slog of walking through the bush, waltzing through the bush. The Matildas, uh, part of it, Walsing Matilda came from German immigrants because in Germany, Matilda was a slang name for a common law wife. And they called their swag Matilda because they slept with their swag. So that's where it came from in Queensland. Oh. But there's a bit more than that. Every name has a Gina, meaning. And I... Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, the name Peter means rock, as you know, and the name Matilda from its German sources mm -hmm. actually means uh, uh, bold... Battlefield warrior. Now, isn't that Sam Kerr? Bold battlefield warrior. And she's not starting on the bench tonight. She is in the lineup to, to start at the beginning of the game. So that's our bold battlefield warrior, hence Matilda's. Look, she is very good, but I back sort of a champion team, <laughs> not just a, a champion in a team. Uh, so let's hope they all uh, lift tonight and we get a victory and we don't want to put the moz on them too too early. I might add my grandmother was a Matilda, so I don't know about that common-law wife thing. I think I might leave that one and not say <laughs> much about that at home. Hey, so, so why do we call the Brits Poms then? Why do we call them Poms? There have been a lot of stories about this. Some people have claimed that POM met a convict prisoner of Mother England. Lovely story, but not true. It actually came from early in the 20th century from a cheeky chant from kids, children in Sydney. There were uh, migrant ships full of pommy mig English migrants, uh, and as they came into Sydney and docked and the people got off, the cheeky little kids used to stand on the dock and call out, pommy grant, immigrant, pommy grant, immigrant. And in doing that, they were comparing the, the immigrants to... Uh, the pomegranate, possibly because they have pink cheeks, I don't know. But out of that chant came Pommy for the English. Ah. All right, Liz wants to know, you know that expression that's going to the dogs, like the country's going to the dogs. Where does that come from, Kel? Uh, born in the 1890s, and it, it came out of greyhound racing. And the idea was that you were headed in a, a direction where you were going to become dissipated and poor through gambling because you kept going to the dogs. So it started out with greyhound racing and then simply became a metaphor for anyone whose life was running down or a country that was running down was going to the dogs. All right, Craig from WA wants to know, and we'll stay with the racing theme, looking a gift horse in the mouth. Where's that one from? Well, uh, it, it means you're not accepting a gift or you're sneering about a free gift you've been offered. Apparently, I'm not the expert, but apparently you can tell the age of a horse by looking at its teeth. But if you start checking the age of a horse uh -huh. you've been offered for free as a gift, that's pretty rude. I mean, that's not a nice thing to do, is it? That is literally... Looking right. a gift horse in the mouth.